now starting with the ridges there are basically four main types of ridges the marginal triangular ridge transverse ridge and the oblique ridge now what is a marginal ridge the marginal ridge is the rounded borders of enamel on the mesial or the distal sides then is your trans triangular next is your triangular starting with the marginal let me explain with the di diagrammatic view this is your marginal ridges the marginal ridges are present on the mesial or the distal side of the occlusal surface of the posterior teeth or the mesial and the distal surface of the anterior teeth and this is the occlusal view that means your posterior tooth occlusal view so this is the rounded borders of enamel that is present on the mesial or the distal surfaces of the occlusal part is a marginal ridge then come your triangular ridge triangular ridge is it descends from the tips of the cusp of molars and premolars to the center point now here you can see that the ridges are sloping down from the cusp to the center point now this is the transverse ridge transverse ridge is the point where the triangular ridges meet this is the point where both the triangular ridges meet triangular ridge is the one which descends from the tip of the cusp towards the center point that is the occlusal point from the cusp it slopes down to the center point that is your triangular ridge and again lastly is the oblique ridge it is the ridge which uh, obliquely crosses the occlusal surface of maxillary molars formed by the union of triangular ridges of distobuccal cusp and distocusp ridge and mesiolingual cusp this is your oblique ridge starting from the distobuccal cusp and distal cusp ridge of mesiolingual cusp this is your mesiolingual cusp and this is your distobuccal cusp this is your oblique ridge the ridges are very together very narrow thing so when you will do the root carving you will be able to understand more easily now what is a fossa it is an irregular depression or concavity there are different types of fossa like lingual fossa central fossa and triangular fossa these are minute depressions seen on the tooth surface a lingual fossa is present on the lingual surface of the teeth central at the occlusal surface and triangular fossa are the present in the occlusal surfaces of the premolars and molars now what is a sulcus it is the long depression or valley in surface of tooth between ridges and cusp the inclines of which meet at an angle now if you see on the occlusal view this will be your sulcus because this is a deep uh, like a depression or a valley in surfaces of teeth and they form at an angle so this becomes your sulcus area in premolars it will be more evident for uh, sulcus thing now developmental grooves it is a shallow groove or line between primary parts of crown or roots there are supplemental developmental grooves they are less distinct much uh, means they are not uh, visible very well there are buccal grooves and lingual grooves these are 
uh, few of their developmental groups you just have to know the names and understand where they are basically located because it uh, all these things are very fine and minute it is uh, it won't be able to be seen very easily these are supplemental grooves they are very distinct and very fine the central groove which is in the middle the triangular grooves which are seen here you can see they are like triangle the marginal present in the margins occlusal pit that is the point in between then there are triangular fossa triangular ridges all these are your developmental grooves different names of developmental grooves then comes pits now what is a pit it is a small pinpoint depression remember it's a pinpoint depression sulcus is a valley like depression and fossa are minute irregular irregularities or concavities the pits are located at junction of developmental grooves or at terminals see now where the two cusp and this is your central pit in previous diagram also you must have seen on the occlusal surface there is a central pit and it is a central fossa of molars where developmental grooves join in this developmental groove diagram i showed you this is a occlusal pit where all the grooves the buccal the lingual all the marginal all the grooves meet at a point this is a occlusal pit and this is also a pit it is at the center of the occlusal point now what is a lobe it is one of primary section of formation in development of crown example cusp and mammalians normally it is helps during the formation of mammalians now what is a mammalian it is one of three rounded protuberances found in incisal ridges of newly erupted incisor teeth normally uh, the newly erupted incisor teeth that is the your central incisor and the lateral incisor you can see this type of shapes now these are your mammalians the single is called mammalon and multiple of them are called mammalians these are basically you can see in uh, young children whose incisors have uh, newly erupted and they will have this, this kind of uh, shape in their incisal edges these are your mammalians and lobe help in formation of this cusp and mammalians now this ends your topic of all the definitions now we'll be proceeding ahead with the line angle and the point angle these are all your definitions with the diagrammatic view hope you understand